Hi, how are you? Jim Deedlo here with the uh, WJOB TV update for Wednesday morning, March 7th at around 8 a.m. Of course, yesterday we were following the uh, sad and unexpected death of uh, Judge Robert Pete at the age of 54 years old. The coroner tells us that he was found dead in his home, Highland home at 11.39 a.m. Chief Justice John Para, chief of the Lake County Superior Courts, uh, called uh, Judge Pete uh, gracious and low-key. Also on the air yesterday, we had uh, Judge Jeffrey Dewan calling Judge Robert Pete uh, hardworking, smart, and industrious. Judge Pete went to Andrean, grew up in Gary, went to Andrean. Uh, then he went to uh, Notre Dame as an undergrad and Indiana University Law School and had a... Uh, a long legal career here in Indiana, and he will be sorely missed. Once again, Judge Robert Pete dead at the age of 54. Also in uh, somewhat of a legal slant to the news, uh, Gary Urban Enterprise Association Director Joanna Meeks, of course, had pleaded guilty to 13 counts this week. And there's uh, one of the things she did is mentioned uh, that she has... Uh, uh, gave some money to uh, individuals X and Y, and there's a lot of speculation right now who individuals X and Y are, and there's a lot of people interested in who that is, including Assistant U.S. Attorney Gary Bell. In uh, business news, Indiana University Northwest opens its simulated trading room, uh, modeled after a portion of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. That should be interesting and open to the public starting today. Wednesday at Indiana University. That's part of their business education program over there. Also in sports, yesterday, uh, Crown Point, longtime Crown Point girls basketball coach Tom May retired after 27 years at the helm there. Uh, Tom May, uh, actually, I, I played against Tom May in the late 1980s when he was a basketball coach, part of the basketball program there at Crown Point. When he wasn't given the job as the boys' head coach after someone resigned, uh, uh, Coach May also resigned, and then he wound up with the girls' job and uh, uh, could not have worked out better for all of us here in Indiana who owe a great debt to Tom May for helping build Indiana girls' high school basketball into what it is. Uh, a random check of the HeyRegion.com calendar. Uh, you can go there and add any of your items. Just go into HeyRegion.com and click on the calendar section. But uh, one random item is there's ballroom dancing today at the Hammond Civic Center from 1 until 3 p.m. admission of a dollar. It's 30 degrees right now in central Hammond. I'm Jim Deedlow for WJOB-TV.